Kelp forests help store carbon dioxide and mitigate climate change. Now, drones are being used to restore their populations. It's incredible to be out here. 2019 was our first year of these surveys, and we were basically surveying open water. There was just no kelp, little, little to no kelp. And to be out here in 2021 and see this strong uptick in kelp is just so exciting um, as a scientist. California's kelp forests began collapsing in 2013 when hot water swept the coastline and a mysterious syndrome caused a mass die-off of sea stars. The sea star deaths threw the ecosystem out of balance. Urchins, which eat kelp, flourished into overpopulation, and other factors such as warming water and acidification caused the kelp coverage to decrease drastically. When dealing with problems like this, we really have to get as much data as possible, and drones allow us to get really high-resolution imagery of individual kelp plants. The drones move in a lawnmower pattern, flying back and forth in straight lines while taking pictures. Those photos are stitched together and then run through a computer program analyzing which pixels contain kelp. The kelp maps are used to plan restoration projects such as trapping sea urchins or introducing sea otters. Once the urchin uh, density is back in balance, so to speak, that gives um, kelp a chance to reset and restore um, and be more resilient to future stressors in this system, such as marine heat waves. The researchers have been collecting data since 2019 from 36 sites, which average 250 acres each. In 2019, the average kelp canopy on the sites was less than one acre which increased to 5.5 acres per site in 2020, but is still nowhere near the historic average of 18 acres. Data from 2021 hasn't been released yet. We know that this ecosystem is still not fully in balance and there's still restoration work to be done, but seeing this kelp and these huge beds, this uptick, um, I'm, I'm feeling very encouraged.